Uh, Yogi Jones. It's tragic what happened that she shot the kid and, and the kid got killed, but she doesn't belong in prison. She's not a danger to anybody in society. And if you look at the situation with what happened under socialism and legalized drugs, how might that be different? How might that scenario play out differently? The, the land that she has, maybe they would make it so that it would be further away from residential property. Maybe it would be where she could actually go to the authorities for help with her problem with the deer because she'd be running a legitimate business. She wouldn't have to operate in the shadows. Um, she'd be able to communicate better with her neighbors about what she's doing because, again, it's legal. It doesn't have to operate undercover. Now, one other thing that we should think about or that I like to think about with her is would she have gotten such a harsh sentence if she was growing okra instead of marijuana? Or if marijuana was legal and the same thing happened? And I would say definitely not. She got eight years for this, right? I think that the judge is probably like, you were growing an illegal substance and you killed this kid, so there you go. When in reality, she's not a dangerous person. And again, if it was okra, I think it would be looked at more as what it was, which is just a horrible accident.